these are unacceptable images. This is what was happening earlier this week. Asylum seekers who had reached a 30 day max in city shelters sleeping on the sidewalk in frigid temperatures, waiting to be assigned a new shelter bed. Matt, who lives near the reticketing center on East 7th Street, stopped to help. We went to Target. We grabbed 30 uh, comforters and some hand warmers just to help people get through the, the morning um, and, then, and the cold night. Steph Rudolph with the Legal Aid Society says the asylum seekers risked losing their spot in line if they left. If it becomes cold and dark or you need to go to the bathroom or get food, um, you need to start all over is, is, for, is what we're observing. Wednesday night, I asked the mayor's office why people couldn't be given a number to hold their place in line, and I was told they were considering it. Thursday night, the Legal Aid Society told me the city is now handing out numbers, so no one has to stay here round the clock. Mayor Adams, chief of staff, also told PIX11 News Thursday morning there was always a waiting room in the Bronx for people to spend the night and then return to St. Bridget's in the morning. We make sure that there is a waiting room, that there is a place that they can go so they do not have to be outside in the street overnight. So I want to make, make that clear. A city bus did come Thursday night to transport the asylum seekers back to the Bronx waiting room for the night. But Jonas from Western Sahara is one of a handful of migrants who didn't get on. The Bronx, he full, full of people. She, there, are, there are a lot of people in the Bronx. Nobody can uh, sleep there. This is why the people sleep here. 